You can connect the Zoom H1 to your computer and use it as a very basic two-in, two-out audio interface. Now, if you are on Mac, you do not need a driver for this. You can use the core audio drivers. And also, if you're on Windows, you technically don't need a driver for many applications. You can actually plug it right into your computer and use a generic driver that Windows will uh, install for you. And then you could use it as, say, a microphone to use uh, as Skype calls. Or maybe if you are recording tutorials and you want to use the microphones of the Zoom uh, as your microphone for uh, Camtasia or whatever the case may be. But some applications will require or work better with an ASIO driver. So if you're on Windows, there is an ASIO driver that Zoom provides us. So you can go to the Zoom website, download, unzip, and install that. Okay, so once you have that done, we can go ahead and connect the Zoom H1 to our computer. Again, if you don't install that driver, it will still work. It will just use a generic driver, but it may not function with some uh, audio applications, specifically DAWs like Cubase and whatnot. Okay, so now we can go ahead and connect our Zoom to our computer. In order to do that, make sure your Zoom is powered off. Then you will want to plug a mini USB cable into your Zoom, plug the other end of the cable into your computer. The Zoom will now power on and you will be presented with two choices. You will have a USB card choice or a USB audio choice. Since we want to use the Zoom H1 as an audio interface, once we see the screen flash to USB audio, we will simply press the record button. And from here, we can use the fast forward or rewind button to choose our sample rate. Just choose whatever your recording application is set to. And after you're done with that, press the record button again. And there you go. Now you are set up to use your Zoom H1 as an audio interface, a two in, two out audio interface. Now while the Zoom does have an integrated mono speaker, it's not very good for actually monitoring sounds coming out of your computer. So what you'll more than likely want to do is connect a pair of headphones to your Zoom in order to monitor whatever is coming out of your computer or out of your DAW. You also, of course, have the option of, you know, you could perhaps plug in a pair of computer speakers there. Now, going from here, there are some differences in how you would set your zoom up with each application, which we're not going to get into here in this video. I just wanted to show you the basic way, the basic steps, what you have to go through in order to get your Zoom H1 to work as an audio interface. So there you go. That is the basic way to connect your Zoom H1 to your computer in order to use it as an audio interface.